All right, folks, uh, here we are. I guess it's our third day in London, but it's game day, and there's definitely a different feel around the arena. Uh, this morning, it's shoot around with both teams getting ready for the game tonight. Some of the fun and frivolity has dissipated as uh, we get closer to the actual game, and guys are getting a little bit more serious. Yeah, I, I kind of felt that same vibe today, and you, just even in terms of, you know, yesterday we were telling you about how practice was kind of open and media walking around guys taking pictures people coming and going as they please which is not usually the case and that was indeed not the case today it was yeah. back to the normal you know closed door if you, you're only you know unless you have business here unless you're you know team related uh, you know personnel you had no business being in the arena in the bowl when uh, the practices were actually going on a lot of media just sort of jammed into the uh, hallways into the vomitoriums to, to chat with the players as opposed to sort of having the casual conversations that have been going on on the floor the last couple of days so definitely a, a more serious feel and I think uh, I think for the most part I know you know everybody's still a little bit ragged yeah but for the most part it's been a couple of days folks are getting used to the time zone so you know I, I think guys are ready for the game tonight and actually ready to, to, to play and not just kind of be practicing and talking about London actually getting a chance to talk about the game and play a game yeah a couple of things you know, it's going to be a neutral crowd and both Avery Johnson and Jay Triano the head coaches have said uh, maybe you recruit the crowd by playing well playing good defense getting out to the lead and all of a sudden uh, you know you, you win some fans and win some fan support uh, injury update Darren Williams who has a uh, bruised uh, uh, sorry a strained right wrist and a bruised left hand said he was going to play he was going to tough it out and play so we'll see what that means for the Nets they're still adjusting to him he hasn't practiced in two days but he's going to be he says he's going to be able to play tonight and as for the Raptors uh, everything appears to be good to go except for Reggie Evans he's back in Toronto uh, still trying to get himself ready and uh, get himself healthy to get back on the floor. But otherwise, uh, you know, no injured bodies to speak of, no issues to speak of, and uh, likely the same starting five that you've seen for the last couple of days with uh, Johnson, Johnson, Bargnani, DeRozan, and Calderon. So no major changes for them expected. And, uh, you know, there, there is a feeling that the Raptors might have a little bit more of the fan base on their yeah. side because of the international flavor with guys like Bargnani and Calderon. But we'll ultimately see if that's the case. And, talk continues to be is you know whether or not this could actually be legit one day with a with an NBA franchise in London in in Paris in Madrid in uh, you know uh, Munich or, or Luxembourg or wherever and I personally don't think it will happen I know Jonesy thinks there's a greater chance of it happening and some of the players seem open to the idea others say no man the travel just wouldn't work and uh, you know I, I think they got to get the CBA figured out first yeah, and take care step. of the existing 30 teams before they worry about trying to add three or four or six more uh, teams let alone another continent yeah there would be some logistics to work through of course we are partial to them internationally going back to Vancouver before they go to London, Munich, Paris, or anywhere else. What are we up else? to now, about 175,000? We're getting there, Vancouver, we're still with you. Come on, you. Jim Balsley, I keep asking, come on, you know, Cedric, get your man to give us a call, That's right, Cedric, get come on that, get on, on that. That Look, the other thing is, uh, two games, it looks like they're both gonna be sold out. So even though there are two teams that are not in the playoff hunt, I think you're gonna see a lot of excitement and a lot of, uh, a lot of fan support these two games over here in London. Remember, 3 o'clock today, 3 o'clock Eastern. It's 8 o'clock in London, but 3 o'clock Eastern. You get to play hooky a little bit from work yeah. if you like. And we're on the air right at 3 o'clock. No pregame show, but we're on the air at 3. Hey, it's a usual routine for us. Hopefully you still hear us. Usual routine for us. It's about lunchtime. Lunch, finish the game work, prep work, and then get to the arena. Good morning, Eastern time zone.